Hey, how y'all doing this morning? This morning, we're gonna cook one of my favorite country southern style dishes. Man, this is something real good. I'm actually gonna take some of this country ham, this Tar Heel country ham here. I got from old Rufus up there at Johnston uh, County Ham, Smithfield, North Carolina. I did a video on them a while back. Sent me one of those real sugar and salt cured hams. It's gonna be a good salty piece here. Man, that's a great piece of breakfast ham here. And we're gonna take that. We'll make some cheese grits, some good old stone ground grits. We're gonna take them, make them all nice and creamy and cheesy. Then we're gonna make some red eye gravy. Tell y'all what, don't get no better southern food, down home country cooking than that. Not for in the morning time. So y'all just hang with me, all right? First off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this open here. I'm gonna use my old Schrade ceramic. I've been using around the house a little bit for my cooking and stuff. It's that SCH401L. It's a great little knife for this sort of a task. You don't want to do nothing heavy duty. But we'll cut this little ham open here. This is just a soft plastic pack. Just vacuum seal here. Like I said, this is this Johnston County ham. Man, them guys did a good job on this one. Oh, I mean, the feel of this ham, just the texture, you can tell it's been well seasoned, and well cured. So what we're gonna do here, I, for the gravy, I need some of this fat. First I'm gonna see, yeah, these, this is three pieces here together. So let me pull these apart real quick and we're gonna trim this fat. In fact, it may be easier to trim the fat with them all together right here. So let's just do that. We're gonna take this really sharp little ceramic blade here, get right down the side, and just trim some of this fat off the edges. Now you could leave this if you had some bacon fat or something like that. I just don't have any bacon fat this morning. So I'm going to have to trim some of this fat off the ham and render it down. I just need a little bit of rendered down fat for this uh, gravy recipe. So let's get that off there. Alright, now what we're going to do, so if you can see here, we got this ham here and we're just going to slice it up. And make little cubes, little lardons basically. Out of this, this way this ham will render down a little bit faster, this fat rather. We're just gonna skew this, this pieces of fat up and we're gonna get this over in a CI or cast iron. Cutting that ham, I just took a little dish soap, rubbed it on this blade here. I'm gonna just rinse it off in a hot water. I'm gonna show you something, something I love about these ceramic blades. You don't have to worry about getting them all real dry and everything. I want to drop this little mechanism in here because I'm going to frame, not really. Uh, just set this thing aside, man. You don't have to worry about rust or nothing like that. These are great for in the kitchen, around the kitchen task. It's a little shred of ceramic here. Pretty cool. I've got my cast iron over here heat up to medium heat, medium high heat. And we'll put our good little lardons, little fat that we cut off from that ham, right down there. And we're going to start rendering that fat out of that ham. I'm going to find this nice little spatula here. Now, I'm going to turn it down to low because I'm not trying to crisp this stuff up you know, like you would if you were cooking bacon or something like that. I'm going to lower my heat. I'm trying to render as much fat out of these little pieces as I can, liquefy. All right, so that's what we want to do. We're just going to sit here and we're going to render that down. Let's um, lower the heat a little bit, turn my exhaust on here. And let's just render some of that fat out of it. See, now I'm all the way down on low, just rendering this, this fat down with this lower. And I tell you what, this is the best because this ham has been cured along with this fat and it's got that salt and sugars in it and everything like that. So this will make some fabulous, fabulous gravy right here. Now, see we got to this point all the pieces of ham turn real dark. Pretty much all that fat's dissolved. I'm going to get a... Uh, <clears throat> what am I going to get? Some kind of little scoop. There we go. We'll get this and we'll get all those little ham bits out and set them aside. Put all my nice little ham crispies out. Uh, we're going to take this off the heat and set this aside. We don't need it right now. We'll need it in a minute. For the grits, i got about six cups of water. I'm bring to a bowl. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in that. You like that there? Just regular salt. Um, I'm making a lot of grits here because I actually I pour them in a sheet pan or a six by nine. What do you call it? A nine by eighteen or whatever. And I cut them up and freeze them for the baby throughout the week, some for our breakfast. But anyway, 
I'm just making a big batch here. You don't, you can make like a third of this. So the six cups of water. I'm gonna add two cups of stone ground grits. I use some really good, you know, stone ground. Get some good, you know, make sure they're not instant grits or nothing like that. I'll kind of show you what I use. Hold on, let me check. I use these grits here, these Red Mill corn grits or polenta, and after you open them, you keep them in the refrigerator. So I got my water bowl in here. I'm gonna add the grits. Like I said, I got about two cups of grits here. We'll stir these in. Just like that. And we'll just kind of bring it back up to a bowl, basically. And just keep stirring it. Once it gets back up to a bowl like this, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down. I'm going to add the butter. We're going to cover this dude for about a minute or two, then we're going to stir them again. Now that it sit there and bubble just for about a minute, stir it again. See right there? That's where everything's taking hold here. And what I'll do, I'll keep stirring it like this for about three minutes with that lid off. Alright, see the consistency that's come up to now? Well, that's what we want. So we're about to stop stirring. And we'll get my cheese. Look, I have made these many, many a times, and I've found, especially if some kids are gonna be eating it or something like that, use sliced cheese, you know, this like whatever craft or something. I've used blue cheeses, I've used sharp cheeses, and all that's nice, fine and good, you know, for uh you know, adults or people who have more of a refined palate, but you know, just you got the kids eating this and adults too. I mean, a lot of people like this this cheese or cheese, like they say, has more of a um creamy texture to it and it blends better with the grit. So I like to set it all on top like that. Put about six slices in there, move this totally off the heat, and let that sit for about five minutes. I'm going to put my cast iron back on with that grease in there, that, the bacon drippings, or the ham drippings, I guess you would say. We're going to bring this back up to about a medium heat temp. Right when you first see the first little whiffs of smoke coming off there, you know that it's still it's hot enough. We're going to start putting our ham on here. And what we're doing with this ham is just getting a good sear on it. This ham is, you know, it's already cured. And it's pretty it's smoked, so it's pretty much cooked. I'm just going to let it sear for about 45 seconds or so on each side. Once it's gone, about 45 seconds or so on that side, we'll give it a flip. Let it go on this side. We've done 45 seconds in on this side. We'll flip it. That's what we're looking for there. Just want to get it good on each side, just to kind of get it a little sear. We'll take it and let the fat and all that drip off of it and set it over here on the side. Go in with the next piece. And come back to our grits. You see all that cheese is melted there on the top. What you want to do is get your Special here, you want to whisk all that in. See how nice and thick that is now? That's what you want. These grits are done. You just need to whisk that in just like that. Wow, let that steam pop out like that. It's some beautiful cheese grits, y'all. I'll put this top back on here. I'm going to take these, set this on the counter, and we'll get back and make that red eye. We've got our cast iron pan back on here. Got it on about medium heat. Getting all those particles and everything loosened up from the bottom, all that good stuff. I like to use about a teaspoon of flour. You don't have to add flour, but I like that. I think it binds everything together a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to whisk this flour in. In fact, with this much oil, I may use about two teaspoons. Teaspoon and a half there. And that's like so this one. We're going to cook that flour for about a minute or two. Just whisk it around, just like this. And we'll get all those good loose bits off the bottom of the pan. Get everything going here. What we're gonna do? I got some 
cold black coffee here. Not fix this more. We'll get strong black coffee. And we'll add first about a half a cup. We're just gonna stir it around and pick up all that good stuff off the bottom and everything. This is what's making a red eye gravy. Look at that. See how it's starting to thicken up a little bit because of that flour? That's what we want to see. I'm going to add the rest of that cup of old black coffee there. And keep stirring. So you stir until this is going to start bubbling up. And this is the colors. This is just what we're looking for here. Once it starts bubbling up, it's going to start thickening. But you just want to keep stirring this liquid for a minute or so, then you'll let it stand for about 30 seconds, then I'll go back to stir. I'm still on about a medium, so I'll just go ahead and turn it to about a medium high heat now. It's very important that you use cold black coffee because if you put it hot, it's gonna lump up. Or it's not it's not mixed with it mixed with it with the oil or the fat right. You see another thing that flour helped to do, and that's gonna help hold this fat and this coffee together so you don't have all you don't see a bunch of little oil bubbles in this uh, when it's done. It kind of just helps to bind everything. I'm gonna test it there and bubble just for a minute. Now that it's starting to bubble like that, and go, oh man, that thing got hot. I'm go ahead and start stirring it. You want it to thicken back up just a little bit. Oh man, this is going to be some wonderful gravy here. That's what I'm talking about. Also, this is a good time to add a little seasoning. I like to add a little bit of this Bezils Cajun seasoning because it doesn't have a lot of salt in it and it's really, really good. So I've got about a teaspoon here. I'm going to add about half of that. I'm going to stir that in. We'll taste it in here in a few minutes and see if it needs anything else. We've got Bezils. My Bezel should really take it to the next level. But then again, that's an option. That's just the way I like to do mine. So I'm stir this just for a minute more. Basically what I'm trying to do here is just evaporate some of that water and concentrate those coffee flavors and that wonderful ham flavor in here and bring everything together. So now I've been stirring it for about two or three minutes. That should be enough. I'm going to go ahead and we'll take this off the heat. Completely off the heat over here. For now. Let's get back over here to our ham. What I'm going to do, first off, I'm going to taste some of this wonderful ham. Take this nice little shred ceramic. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I did a fabulous job, but just the right cure on that ham. Derek Johnson hams, man. That is freaking awesome. But I'm just busting some of this ham up because I'm going to show you what I'm about to do here in a minute. I'm going to incorporate some back into that juice, back in that red eye. We'll just bust some of it up like this. Like that there. Bust it up. Put it back in the gravy. Oh, it's going to be good, y'all. Back over here to our gravy, put it back on the heat, uh, turn that on there for about a minute, you know, for a minute to turn on about low, medium low. Bring our ham over this time. Start setting some of these wonderful pieces of ham in there. Just let this just marinate and just, oh, oh my gosh, all the flavor is just going to be amazing in this stuff. And this ham, red eye gravy, these cheese grits. This is true southern style here, I'm telling you. Don't get no better than this on a breakfast. Look at that. Look at that red eye gravy right there in the ham. Just gonna let this simmer just a minute. Just everything get infused together. All this wonderful breakfast here. Wonderful, y'all. Alright, see how it's coming to bubble right there? Bam! We're gonna turn it off. We're gonna serve it up, y'all. Awesome. Okay, I got me some cheese grits here. I got me a uh, little English muffin. Oh man, you do big cat head biscuits too, be perfect. I just happened to have some of these muffins around this morning. Look at this ham, wonderful coating on here with this uh, red eye. This is just wonderful, y'all. 
we can get some of this stuff on a plate. Man, oh man. This is a beautiful southern southern breakfast here. I mean traditionally this is this is this is it, y'all. This this is great. Oh, and don't forget about those little crispies that we made earlier. Alright, so we got this plate here. Let me get some of this gravy. It's good red eye gravy. I'm gonna put some of that right here in the grits. Can't beat that the grits with that red eye gravy. Right there on top. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. And we're gonna come in with those little crispies. Basically little little pieces of that fatty hen was just cooked up. We'll sprinkle that right over the grits. I'm telling y'all what, this is this is a breakfast here. Real southern style. Country ham, cheese grits, red eye gravy. All right, so let's give it a try here. Turn it where you can see. Cut me a little piece of this ham. Dip in that gravy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, it's bomb. Nice and salty. That good. You can taste that red eye gravy. Cause coffee flavor come through too. Fantastic. Grits. Mm, mm, mm. Cheesy goodness there. Y'all gotta try this red eye gravy with the cheese grits. Get some of that ham from Johnson County Hams over there, Rufus. But thank y'all. That's some great stuff, man. Great stuff. Can't beat that red eye gravy and country ham for breakfast. Tell you what, that sure was good. And I want to thank y'all for watching. If you like what you saw here today with my cooking, please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel and see all my other good cooking videos. Thank y'all.